first talk about the Warriors of Kamehameha. And as they come out there, they've been riding the wave that is uh, very simply Kamalani Dung. And Kamalani Dung in the circle, only a sophomore, and how impressive she has been. She is 2-0 in this tournament, the only two games Kamehameha has had to play. 14 innings pitched, 25 strikeouts. She gave up a home run to Larson in one of those games. That is the earned run average, but I'll tell you what, she is on fire. They are two very different pitchers. Kamalani Dung, you watch her in the in the pitching circle. Very intimidated for only a sophomore. Everything she does is very quick and precise. Even watch her when she comes up to bat. She takes her pat practice rates. Just bam, Very bam. intense. Very Everything intense. about her is intense. Well, back once again at the Rainbow Wahine Softball Stadium on a beautiful night. And it is just about time to play ball. But first, I want to introduce the starting lineups for that. Hitting second and doing the pitching. Number one, Kamalani Dung. To lead things off against Kamalani Dung, as I said, 14 and 12 strikeouts over the past two nights. One thing that you don't have to worry about in this contest, Lori, is putting any kind of a stopwatch on the pitcher. 2-2 pitch now. Coming from Dung, took a little something off it, pulled a little string, and gets the K. Two batters, two strikeouts, and then he's stepping up to the plate. This is a pitch that makes Kamalani Dung almost unhittable to pitcher in this group. 1-1, one, one, swing and a strike two, and you can just see Kamalani Dunn, just give me that ball, and you're never going to wait for her. She's always going to be on that rubber waiting for the batter. If anything, it's almost the batters that need to slow down and, yeah, and kind of take her out of her pace. So she will always be waiting on the hitter. One, two, pitch, strike three, she strikes out the side. All three go down swinging. So one inning in the book. We figured it was going to be somewhat of a pitcher's duel. I think we got one brewing here tonight in Ma Noah. Down 0 2, steps in and then calls timeout, steps out. Just wants to slow things down a little bit. But you can't slow it down too much when Kamalani Dunn is coming in with the heat. Four batters faced, all four have struck out swinging. Tom way in at third base looking for the bunt. There it is. One play for Dunn. It's the first base. So nicely done. You know what's interesting here? We saw Mona Lua defensively bring their first baseman in and move her over. So we went pitcher, first baseman, second baseman. Kamehameha relies on Dunn to field that right side of the field. You see the first baseman not even fielding the bunt, retreats back to first base, makes Dunn field everything to her left. It's a little different bunt defense with Kamalani Dunn in the circle. And now Amber, one and two the count here, getting back to the game, and a swing and a foul tip. And that's going to be it for Sarah's Not this season. Kamalani Dunn, meanwhile, has struck out 10 batters. Strikeout number 11 for Dunn. A one pitch, another beautiful off speed delivered by Kamalani Dunn. The one two pitch, this time she offers but a good off-speed pitch by Dunn, and she has 12 strikeouts 